Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colonies to potentially break another map. That's right, we are going to slightly break this map. Not too bad. I don't think the actual break that I'm going to do is going to do anything too crazy to it. But as you can see, I actually have beaten this and while I was doing this, I did discover a little nifty trick that might help. I'm not 100% sure. So let's give it a look-see. This is the Labyrinth from Ranger Von Danger. It is a pretty cool looking map. I mean, look at this. There is a whole uh, anti-creeper breeder and creeper breeder or split breeder section on either side. There is anti-creeper breeder all along the back. I mean, all of this. There are two spore launchers. Each of these will fire spores at each other, and that's it. But they will also spend eggs to everywhere. I mean, eggs go down here, eggs go here, eggs go to this emitter in our little tiny labyrinth. Uh, hopefully there are no minotaurs, but I don't think there will be. Uh, I think we'll be fine. So that's pretty much the map itself for the most part. Uh, again, all the split breeder leads to just crimson breeder down here. There are a couple emitters at the bottom with a dark tower, of course. <laughs> So this map is all about setup, and I will also show you the slight break. Now there are two other things to note. We start off with a thousand bonus energy, uh, which is fantastic. Just a thousand energy, boom, you got it. Uh, the other thing we start off with is uh, a million arg over here, you know? Uh, I mean, okay, not a million, but I mean, we're talking, what's that, 900, 1200 arg? I don't know why. It would make sense if this was Liftic, because there is a pre-made rocket pad here, so this would just power it up until we got here, but it's ARG. Don't get it, don't understand it, I don't know why it's ARG, but it is. And it, since it's ARG, and since it's a, uh, one of these, we can actually just toss down an Emrift right there. That's actually going to build an Emrift. Uh, we obviously can't use the Emrift as of yet, as we do not have an Emrift next to base, but guess what we're going to do? We're going to make an Emrift next to base. It will take some time, obviously we will need the red on over here and all this good stuff, but hey, I'm pretty okay with that. Obviously, we're going to want an Earn Port. Uh, because we have eight urns available, none that are diggable. So let's get an urn per on online. We're going to get everything except for move speed. Move speed is nice, but not something that we need. So first off, we have a lot of building to do. And by a lot of building to do, I mean, I completely understand if you skip most of this video, uh, is a lot of it will probably be building. But the building is the most important part. So, you know, if you wanted to see the end result, feel free to skip ahead. No problem if you do, I completely understand. But do know that this is the... I'm, I'm going to go over the little uh, break that I found. So if you notice, all of these corners uh, look essentially the same, right? All these have... you know, If we put a tower here, nothing can go through, obviously, right? Well, there's one corner, and that one corner is literally right in base. If we put a tower here... Whoa, look at that. It actually connects through the wall. What? And that takes us right to an exit. So basically, by this tower existing, which we do need to connect up, and I want to make sure it has power from multiple locations, just in case, this tower now gets around going from this whole path, this whole path, all the way around to there. So quite a nice little shortcut in terms of getting power to essentially our front lines. Uh, I am not going to complain about that. It will be a good thing, but it's not game-breaking. And I'll show you why it isn't game-breaking. It's not game-breaking because of this Emrift over here. This Emrift over here is nutty because once we get an Emrift down here, we now have power generating from over here. Uh, it's wild. Um, so again, the start is the most important part. Um, so we do need to obviously have a very good one and i think we're gonna have a good one uh, i'm gonna set up the initial base but just so you can see what the initial base is and then we're going to do essentially the map we're going to build the entirety of this map so an important thing is obviously miners uh, that's essentially what our main base is our main base will be minor fodder and we are going to turn off paths because they are going to get nuts uh, so we are going to have three miners with urns that's why we have eight and that's why we actually didn't do move speed, because we want some more juicing for our boosting. That's right, and here we go. We are started. We have plenty of towers. We're going to use a mix of towers and 
we are going to use pylons. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about the pylons. They are very important here because we want to send power throughout this entire maze and all of that good stuff. This is... There's a lot of tower placement, a lot of little corners. Obviously, I can't just drag... All, I, I would love if I could just drag and it would just cross, even though they didn't connect, and then I could connect them later. I can't. So it's just a lot, a lot of this type of placement. So please don't hate me if they're not symmetrical. I'm just going to be trying to make lines, essentially, when I can, where I can, how I can. And we're going for miners, of course. Uh, actually, you're, you're, you're on my mine territory. And you know what? Speaking of that, let's actually build our miners out. That way, when we're making towers, we're not going to intrude on the miners. Uh, I, it'll just make life that much more simple. Right? I mean, they're all built. Now we know we're not going to intrude there. So let's just place all of our miners down. It will just get them out of the way. Obviously, that's what we're doing this for, is the miners. So, yeah. Knocking them out. Uh, not worth it. You know what? We have so much power. We're going to have so much power at that point. It will be worth it. Why not? Why not go over juiced? I think that's okay. I'd rather have it than not. Again, more miners. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get to these before the creep kind of, or we're definitely not getting to this before the creep you know, invades. So that's a little bit pointless to do. So here we go. Uh, the other starting thing that we do want in the beginning, I almost forgot, uh, very important, uh, five sprayers. Uh, five sprayers, that's right. Five glorious, glorious sprayers. And I'm going to turn one of these to blue white. Yeah. Mm, no. Never mind. Never mind. No blue white initially. And again, back to the towers. We're doing this again. Additional power. Cannot go wrong with more power. It will do you very well in the long run. Uh, we will need, oddly enough, a fair bit of power. Not too much. Uh, I'm going to be ab not abusing power, but uh, one thing to note, I should say, no air. Only rockets. Perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, we're just not going to be able to make an air force. And no air force generally means, I mean, to be fair, most of your power concerns are gone because air is what takes up pretty much all of your resources when it comes to power. So, yes, uh, no air essentially means power is not, you know, a huge, huge, huge concern for us. Uh, as you can see, we're just covering the entirety of our labyrinth. Uh, I have a feeling that down here will get destroyed, which is A-OK -okay to me. I don't have a problem with it. It will be fine. Uh, yeah, I I'm not super worried. Uh, we are building a few mortars because mortars can shoot over the walls, which is quite nice. You know, obviously shooting over the walls will help in the long run because it will curtail this emitter in essence, sort of hold it in place. And that I don't see as cheap because they're mortars. Uh, and I, I don't even see this as a, well, this is kind of a cheap, but again, with this M-Rift, once we really get these up and running, power coming from here, this doesn't really do that much for us. It will do some, uh, but I have tested it both in, in multiple ways, uh, let's say, and this test itself, uh, basically allows you to say, yes, uh, we are in a very good place with our um, with our structure system, and this M rift is all you need. Uh, the M rift is more is just as important as everything else. Ooh, did I not connect up these miners? I might not have. Ooh, that's that's a problem. Let's let's get that along the edge, and then I'll connect those up. Good, good, good. Um, so yeah, uh, the M rift is the most important thing, and that's that's a given. That is a given, thanks to boxes. So this just helps us spread a little bit faster, but not like end of the world faster. Um, so yeah, that's just something to note. And here we go. We can even build up to here, even though we won't need to. Uh, this will also, once we have an M-Rift, spread down. And that's actually the more important thing is spreading down. Uh, so yeah, there we go. And we're going to go all the way and see if we can get a nullifier connected. We can. It is right there. Fantastic. Uh, again, we are going to go... You know, I'm going to put the nullifier in first at maximum range. Boop. And then we're going to go backwards with pylons yet again. Uh, the first time I did this map, I had to have a whole sniper system to handle the eggs and things like this and work my way up this with uh, limited, limited... 
uh, feasibility. It did not go very well for me at all. Uh, not that it didn't go very well. I actually handled the map, I would say, quite well. Uh, the problem that I had uh, wasn't necessarily handling the map. It was just in the very end, all I had were these two uh, spore launchers left. And it should have taken me like three minutes, but it took me like 15 because I was just messing around. Uh, and if you want to see messing around, I'm happy to mess around. I, you know, I, I think if you've watched my other videos, you know, I play to have fun. I think having fun is the most important part of gaming in general. So if you want to see the other video where I'm just sort of messing around at the end, get a little frustrated, just let me know. I still have it. Um, so here we go. This is quote unquote, the initial setup. Now, initial setup obviously means there's still more to do because that's what the quote unquotes were for. So we are going to connect up to uh, this side via oh, this direction. So as we can see, we are now connected up here. And that's sort of the one thing that this provides you is by going this way, it also allows you to start building up here that much faster and down here that much faster. Although down here isn't as important. It's actually a big resource drain until you make all your resources. So uh, yeah, it's, it's good but it's not like the be all end all of the universe good, so to speak. Uh, and we will need pylons all the way down, all the way down. That's right. And we are going to have emrifts, of course. Why not? Who doesn't like an emrift? We're going to toss one here. Uh, really that's all we need. Just an emrift right there. Uh, that should be fine. You know what? Maybe we'll toss an emrift over here. Uh, no, 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 we don't want an M-Rift over there because the power will get there too fast. We want the M-Rift by base to build first. I was still expecting the power to go all the way around and then the blah, blah, blah. But no, we just want an M-Rift right by base, an M-Rift up there, and an M-Rift down here. And that should be good. Now down here is going to be very important, but we can build that as the map progresses. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of want to build it out now. Because if I build it as the map progresses, we're not going to be able to watch the fun. And I, I think a huge portion of all of this is the aspect, again, of fun. So we're going to toss down two beacons, and they can go in the dark zone, of course. And the beauty of the beacons is they can attach very easily to this M-Rift, which is fantastic. Uh, well, we're going to toss down two towers, because why not? They're, they're small, you know. We don't necessarily need pylons there. And then, of course, we're going with just a million more tears. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, I'll even do this this set right now. Uh, we will also do a couple over here. And uh, we'll do a couple over here. We are going to want a whole lot more. Actually, this side can use a bit more because it's going to take some time to get down here. Uh... Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. And you know what? We'll, e we'll even help out by adding a pylon network to connect to this side uh, just to speed up the power transfer uh, when that happens. So there we go. Let's get started. See how the map progresses. Again, we start off with this thousand energy, which is just the, the jump boost, right? It's just there to get us going. And as you can see, we're already draining. I mean, look at it go. It's already just falling to the wayside. But you can see, I mean, look, uh, the towers are being built. The pylon structures are being built. We used it all. Ooh, I didn't actually get a miner. The miner is stuck at 36. Oh, my, oh, my. That's actually problematic. Uh, oh, there we go. One popped on. Two popped on. Uh, and once they get their uh, urns, boom, we're good. Okay, the miner is getting their urns. Power being restored. A little bit on the the slow on the uptake, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, power, honestly, is our smallest concern in the world. Uh, once we are up and running and going, you will see power just cycling through. And as you can see, even though we built this, because I built my pylon structure later, it's sort of not prioritizing the pylons. Uh, I wish there was a way to say prioritize this building. I think that'd be kind of cool. But again, we're perfectly fine. Uh, our power is slowly creeping up, and it will get there very, very, very soon. We're already making our red on. Our M rift is already 74%, not 74%, uh, 74 out of 200, which is half of that, so it was 37%. Now we're almost half at 100. Uh, mortars are done, power is fine, and power is now spreading to the world. As you can see, our miners are built. Uh, our, oh, Jeez, I almost forgot, which we don't even need to do this, uh, oddly enough. 
Uh, but we're gonna do the sprayer system. Uh, I should have done this I, when they only had, like, two energy in them. Uh, that's really all you need. You only need one, you only need one ammo, honestly. Uh, so once you build them and they have one ammo, you just fly them out, uh, have them drop their little blurb, and then they're done. You know, that's all, that's all they needed to do. Uh, by dropping one anti-creep on the ground, they have served their entire purpose. Having 19 actually doesn't affect anything whatsoever. Uh, it's actually more of a hindrance because they're going to waste it. But that's okay. Uh, we'll let them do their thing. They'll fly out. They'll have fun. Uh, I suppose we could have... Uh, ooh, this is getting a little bit deeper over here than I would have liked. So let's toss down a couple mortars on this side as well. And you know what? We'll add a couple backup mortars just to curtail this bad boy. Again, look at our energy. We're already almost over 100. And we still have more mines to go. I'm perfectly happy with our energy situation. There really isn't anything that we can do to uh, stop that. Uh, you can see, look, the Emrift is online, which means this is now all building out as well, generating us more energy, building out the network. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. Uh, that being said, uh, we can, we have the energy, we have the capability, we have the structure system. Let's add just a whole slew of uh, mortars over here because we can. You know, if you can do it, you might as well do it. And actually, what I'm also going to do to help clean some stuff up, uh, we're going to have green iron. Some green fun times and let's just add that like that i think i think that will be pretty good uh yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that that is probably enough uh the beacons we do want to prioritize it should prioritize the beacons oh my geez i completely completely forgot that is entirely my fault we should have had th uh three refineries here and because i messed up i'm gonna add four uh, because I want that picking up. I want that going good. And as you can see, uh, we're 255 in and we're already spreading to our uh, where we need to go. Now I'm going to turn this platform off now because I would rather have these beacons get built first. So the beacons are the most important things. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm also, I do kind of want to turn the rocket off. Uh, but the rocket shouldn't be absorbing too much, especially once these get built. Uh, and also, we have plenty of M uh, red on now, so I'm just going to toss an M rift here. I'm going to toss an M rift in the red on section. Uh, let's toss an M rift over on this side. Why not? Uh, and we'll toss one, say, over here. That should help just with the general speed of things. Uh, and that is a pile on there, right? Yep, perfect. Uh, that is what we want to see. And there we go. We are already setting off our uh, totem activation as you can see is flying enough there we go woo, woo, woo. fantastic fantastic uh and again we have so much power so much power we're gonna add some cannons why not add some cannons to the mix we're gonna want uh, a, a little bit a little bit uh as you can see uh the nullifiers are coming online we still have a little bit of time before the launches so just as a precaution we're gonna add two missiles here and we're gonna add two missiles here you know just as a precaution Okay, three missiles there. Perfectly fine. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, and we can start working on getting down here. We are going to want that emitter, of course. That emitter is going to be, quote-unquote, a problem. Now, by problem, I just mean it exists. Uh, that existence being the problem. Uh, this beacon... Did that... Oh, no. Oh, the... Uh, I thought it was connected to the M rift over here. It wasn't connected to the M rift. It was just connected to the tower. That was my fault. Or no, it was connected to the M rift, but the M rift isn't getting power yet because we haven't built the M rift because it's still at 161. There's the problem. All right, well let's let's just fill that up. That'll fill up the M rift as well. Fill up this beacon, and then we will be good. As you can see, our uh, green R is fairly stable. We are holding back the creeper waves. We have built essentially almost everything. Uh, you know, our, our power still doing good. Uh, let's turn this back on. We should be fine with that. And because the other beacon is completed. So we're at four minutes right here. Uh, we've completed all of our towers. So you know what? Let's just start flying them out into this zone. Uh, it should not be very thick because this creep was essentially, uh, just gooing around doing its gooey thing. 
And as you can see, we're completely, completely holding this. Yeah, you can see it's, it's super thin. Uh, we've completely held this in place. So fantastic for us. We have done it. And yeah, I'm going to turn two of these to blueite. Uh, and they are the super ones, mind you. So we are actually uh, going to be making significantly more blue light. Uh, because why not? We, we I, I would love to have even more blue light and sprayers in our life. That is actually, while not important, it's actually a very good thing for us to have at the current moment. And you will soon see why. In fact, I am going to go one further and build five more sprayers, uh, that many more sprayers. Uh, I said five, but I meant that many. That many is the correct answer. There we go. We're going to do this, and we're going to select all, and we're going to turn them off of always on. We're going to let them just sit in base for now. Base is a pretty good place for them. There we go. Feeling pretty good. And now that the towers are on patrol, we can keep moving. Our sprayers are being built. Our beacons are online, and we have a wave coming. Boom. See, look, the wave pushes all the way to the edge. It's a bad time. Nobody likes it. Nobody. And then we sort of slowly take it back. Uh, obviously, slowly taking it back is going to be a problem for us, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, the other thing that we ha can do is, look, we've taken this entire line. We've built our first... Uh, platform so we're gonna we're gonna load that platform up of course uh it's there uh, this platform yeah not going so hot i mean it's not bad it's just platforms are a little slow when they chain because they take so many resources but what we can also do is set up a uh a pylon system here of course and we can go straight to the creep and this side is gonna go all the way down and we're gonna set up a new mortar structure of course that's right more mortars more explosions more death for the creep and that's what we want to see uh, we do want this before we do our primary assault because then creep will not be flowing in from the side it does make it significantly easier so once we have this we can begin our assault and we're gonna assault with anti-creep and cannons and mortar support from the back of course uh, we can even add another row of mortars, I believe, here, which will, you know, just, just help, just help. Uh, and there we go, we have a, uh, an assault force, we have a uh, anti-creeper force, and we are now working towards the final uh, one over here. We're going to connect this up, which will get us even more power, which... I think, as you can see, we don't need... Who needs power when you have all the power in the... The, the Creeperverse? Creep... Megaverse? The... World? Something like that. The asteroid, the planet! Ah, this is a planet, right? Remember, everything is a planet. Uh, I almost forgot that as well. There we go, we can toss in our nullifier. We have cannon support, we have mortar support, perfectly fine. Again, this is nullified, this is nullified, this will be nullified. We're gonna grab, you know, just because we can. Mortar, uh, look at that. Look at the efficiency, and by efficiency, I mean we're leaving spaces behind. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, there we go, let's get going, and look, our usage is so high, we're in a, an incredible deficit. Oh no, a deficit, whatever will we do? I actually probably could use some shields down here, I didn't even think about that. Um, of course, it spread, it destroyed some unbuilt mortars, completely understandable. Our, our deficit is immense, oh my, oh my, whatever will we do? This deficit is so much, uh, I don't think we will be able to handle it. Uh, it's, it's just... How could we? I mean, look at how much we're trying to build and, and everything like that. You know, there's no way that we should be able to handle this. Uh, and yet, are we reclaiming right now? Oh my. Oh, no, we're not. We were for a second. We, we had a second worth of reclaiming. Uh, as you can see, our deficit is still high, but we are in no threat of any actual danger. It doesn't matter. The mortars are being built. They are finishing. Oh, deficit's over. There we go. We have done it. And as you can see, look, we've cleaned this out. We've cleaned this out, which basically means that whenever this spreads, we're not going to get that wave in from the side, which is going to help substantially. Now, again, what I could actually do is place down some shields and be kind of cool like that. Uh, apparently, I didn't even think about that. We are going to turn these to always on, always on. That's right. These are going to move in first. Uh, I want them to be towards the back. 
you know, towards this side. Uh, then we are going to move in. I guess all of our cannons can go. Uh, why not? And again, if you hold G, it tries to make a line. Uh, obviously, you can see it putting things still in our base. So, you know what? I'm just going to go something like that. It's going to be pretty messy. It's going to be ugly. And I love it. I love everything about it. That's exactly what I want to see. Just a messy, ugly assault. Um, and you know what? Because I probably should have done this, I'll just toss in some pylons over here. Again, we have the power. We have the, the means, the capability. Uh, maybe it will help get this nullifier online that much faster. Uh, you know what? Friend, friend cannon, you stay back. Nullifier's coming online up there. Uh, we are reclaiming. Uh, we're at 73%. Our reclaim is somewhere in base, I believe. Uh, let's see if we can find it. I can never find these uh, reclaimed totems, and I never know why. But look at that. We are almost, almost completely done with that. And you can see the uh, anti-creep flowing. Same thing with over here. Uh, we can even toss in some mortars on this side, which is obviously why this platform is here, to hold the mortars. And look at that. We're, we're almost not only completely, completely clear of creep, uh, but we're assaulting the final thing. Six minutes in. Uh, where are you? Are you in base? Uh, you're so much easier to find before I put down all my things. No. Oh. Friend, friend, please build. Uh... I can't find it. I'm blind. We shall see when it explodes, of course. I just... Oh, there it is. It's right there. Yay! I found it. Fantastic. It's in the bottom side. Look at it standing there. It's going to go great. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to really watch it take off because step one right now is essentially try and hold this. Now, our sprayers are landing, uh, and of course, we will need support for them. Uh, so let's toss down some towers. Uh, hopefully the sprayers can start to hold. Uh, we are going to move things momentarily. Uh, our towers are landing, which is fantastic. We're going to add a few more towers to the side. And then we're going to wait for a wave. It's important to wait for a wave. Having a wave be done is actually substantially important for us. Uh, so we will need to see when it does its big push. And it will hurt. You know, even with this, I think it will hurt. Although I can't see if it's happening or not. So maybe it won't hurt. Uh, let's just get going. Let's move you, Mr. Sprayer. I, I love your gusto. Uh, but we're going to toss a nullifier there. Uh, we're going to toss a nullifier. Maybe there works. Uh, and we need one for that. So that is actually going to be much closer to it. Because uh, it's actually further away from the emitters there. Uh, little bit closer to it so that might be good enough it is close enough to a tower let's just see if any of these nullifiers survive uh, we are flooding it with some decent bits of anti-creep and our anti-creep is holding because we did move those uh elements to uh to what need to be Ooh, boop, uh, we have nullified down there beautiful over here we've cleaned everything up you done over here, not. So, real quick, while all of that is building, let's build another set of pylons. And you know what? I'm not even going to build stuff. I'm just going to say all of these just take over. Just take over. Uh, land over here. Enjoy. Have fun. And yeah. <clears throat> Boom. We have technically completed the map. Just about seven minutes. I obviously want this to die. So, let's see. How thick is it? Not very. Oh, there we have it. This is the labyrinth, and that is it. So, yeah. I'm feeling pretty okay about that. Hey, the anti-creep finally made it to the top. We did it. Uh, as you can see, plenty of anti-creep down. Uh, had we not done this little thing over here, <clears throat> we still could have done everything the same. It just would have let the creep creep up a little bit more. So, this quote-unquote cheat... Uh, I say break the map, <clears throat> but, you know, however you want to call it, uh, really did not give us a huge advantage. The, the entire building out the structure, getting all of your energy, still works perfectly fine. The M-Rift to M-Rift still works perfectly fine, and the M-Rift to M-Rift builds within time that you can actually nullify these without them uh, ever shooting. Uh, worst case scenario, you just toss down maybe just the two uh, launchers, and then they will cover it. So, just so you are aware there, uh, if you want to try it yourself, give it a go. I highly suggest this. this is a very fun map uh, because, you know, 
we we beat it without having to really do the problem now flying sprayers i think is the most important part uh if you are going to do things because uh realistically if you don't turn off the uh the spore launchers then you really want to fire uh, sprayers because they will generate creep it will fill up this entire back row it will bleed down here and then of course it will start to assault um perfectly fine but if you have creep in this area it basically has an equilibrium here so this entire back area fills with creep uh, oddly enough there's triple layers of shields here but the shields don't take damage i don't know why uh the the creep just comes right up to it i don't see a purple shield which is interesting but i'll take it this shield does not take damage but you can't get this green r back here um so you do have to work at that and then uh the creep down here uh, if you put down your anti-creep, it will butt heads with this path, but the creep will win, but it will win very, very slowly. So say you put down your anti-creep and it makes an equilibrium here initially, over the next five or so minutes, it will probably creep up to here. So you have like five minutes just to put some mortars here, and then it will never actually hit the split breeder, and you'll have an equilibrium that you can hold just with a few mortars. You don't even need a million mortars, literally just a few is all you need to hold it back. So, yeah. Thank you, Ranger Von Danger. This was a very fun map. Let's see how we did at the time uh, overall. So we did 3 minutes 21 for the... Uh, for the totems, which mm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I think that is the fastest time. Oh, 251. No, thir literally 30 seconds faster than me. Oh, I own zero. Okay, okay, okay. You got me. You got me. I was so excited. Oh, just, just one time. One time. All right, let's see how we do on the actual nullification time. So nullification was 659. Reclaim was uh, 625. Uh, nullification, the... All right, nine minutes. 750. Okay, okay. 523. No, Vanton. All right, all right. Uh, still... I feel pretty good about the overall time. We were beaten by one person in both sides. Uh, although our reclaim, although we should have been, we should be beaten by Vanton with reclaim, unless Vanton uh, didn't submit. Oh, do you have to re submit for every time? I didn't realize that. Uh, but yes, actually, no. He might not have reclaimed and still nullified. So that is a possibility. Oh yeah. So I hit submit and it submitted them for all. So. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling pretty good. Not that much in the way has beaten us. So, there you go. That's the labyrinth. Slightly broken, but hey, you know, it's all about having a good time, and I definitely had a good time. I hope you had a good time, too. I will catch you in the next one. Please check out the playlist. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps me out very much. So, thank you uh, very much, and I hope to see you again. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.